Rus verachem aleinu. Shema koleinu. Hashem elokeinu. Hear our voice, Lord our God, have pity and compassion upon us, and accept our prayer with mercy and favor. You know, it's very interesting, uh, we recite these words three times a day, six days of the week. The only time we don't again is on the Shabbat and on the Yom Tovim. These words are also recited on penitential days and also when we fast. These words are recited on the High Holidays during Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. But they do as they represent the blessing given to Yaakov Avinu, Jacob our father, from his father Yitzchak. He said to him, Kol, Kol Yaakov, that the, Yaakov, that the voice, that Yaakov's power would be in his mouth. This allowed, pardon me, this alluded to the power of prayer. You know, before we even present any prayer before God. We say Shema Koleinu before we ask God to accept our prayers. We first cry out to Him, not that we have any merit, just because He is our Father and we are His children. A father hears the cry of his child. You know, there's a famous story told of the Alter Rebbe, the founder of Chabad Hasidus. It said mommy lived in a two-family flat. He had the lower flat and his son, the Mithla Rebbe, had the upper flat. And one day as he was in 
his flat learning, he heard that the baby was crying. But it was continuous. He closed his Gemara and went upstairs. And there he saw the baby had fallen out of its cradle. And he picked the baby up and cooed it and calmed it and put it back into the cradle. And then he went to see his son, the Mittler Rebbe, who was learning, engrossed in study. And he berated him. And he said, Nishkarek, that's not right. He said, the baby fell out. You should hear it. He says, I was learning. He said, you should never learn so much, so deeply, that you don't hear the cry of your child. Just as we must always hear the cry of our children, so too, God, our Father in heaven, will always hear our voice, our cry. And he will then answer our prayers. May, with, may his salvation come quickly. Uh, we certainly need it now with the coming of Shia Kukainu quickly and in our time.
for listening. Hope you enjoyed that. I did. We bless you again. You should be happy, healthy, and safe. God should bless you with all that's good. Uh, please, if you haven't, subscribe, push the like button, share it with your friends. Have a great Shabbat. Again, thank you for listening.